Hello everyone. So this video will show you the latest Seagate hard drive firmware repair and data recovery solutions. Now we are opening the latest DFS Seagate hard drive repair software. Let's power on. We can check the COM terminal messages. For CG hard drives, it's very important to diagnose the CG drives by some terminal messages. Okay, now let's enter the program to check the function list. And this is the supported families. Many new families have been listed here. Now we can uh, obtain the hard drive ID details here, and then we can check this is one uh, new drive of the Seagate Rosewood EB01 hard drive. Click OK. And we enter this DF Seagate hard drive repair program. And this is a come knock window, and users can find out what is happening with this drive. And this is COM terminal. And this is module list because this drive is locked. So we cannot find these modules here. And this is a hex. We can read by LBA, read ABA, modules, tracks, ROM, RAM. Now we can see here are several Big menus. Common functions for fixing the common hard drive failures. Now all these common solutions are for the F3 T prompt hard drives. F3 hard drives, we can see this one. Because we just selected this F3 family to enter. And this one is for the latest Seagate drives. If they have been formatted and become all zero, and you can use this Seagate SMR formatted recovery. And there are also many uh, other new functions for the Seagate new drives, including the SSHD. For password removal, you know, there are uh, different CG drives. They have different passwords protected. And users can, uh, try, can try to remove the password with these menus. Just one click to remove the password. This one, uh, users can try to convert. Convert to the head number. You know, sometimes head zero. Sometimes when the drives have bad sectors and users can check the LBA and then input the LBA there to get the head number. And in this menu, just to show you the RAM operations. Edit physical head map, logic head map, and note LD to RAM. This is the virtual boot. Sometimes when the drives have the LED issue and cannot enter the F3 T prompt. And users can try to write this boot ROM. And then users can try to load noodles. Here, users can try to load the 3D noodles.
And this one is also very helpful. The boot operations, HDD serialization, and this one, node adaptives from ROM image, and noting the 2B28 to RAM. These are for the Seagate F3 hard drive hot swap. So these are very useful too. For ROM operations, so this one is for firmware unlock. If the drive is locked, users can try to use this generate unlock ROM. And write unlock ROM and send unlock key. And users can access to the firmware error. For the SA operations, users can find all the functions. Test firmware, SYS test. SYS files are the same contents as the firmware modules. LOD backup, right? So there are many new functions added, and users can fix most cases within their labs. And it's very easy to reset smart and fix the translator issue, fix the partial sector access automatically here. This one is for the new drives, the LM Rosewood. This one are for refraction, not for data recovery. Engineist. Engineist is very important for CG drives. And here we have one uh, very important and new function to adjust the adaptive temperature. And this one can be used to repair the weak hard drives, including these new Seagate Rosewood hard drives. So user, users can use this function to repair the weak drives, to repair the weak heads. And sometimes when the heads are weak, the read and write is very slow, then users can use this function to repair the weak heads. Anyway, if the heads are physically damaged, users must swap the heads within the clean room. So, users can find all functions for Seagate from a repair within the DFL Seagate hard drive repair program. And of course, within the DFL DDP data recovery software, users can also find all the common solutions for Seagate repair. Now we can click the Seagate. Now this is for uh, the firmware unlock. And these are the command. This is the firmware versions for the Seagate F3 T drives. If easy fix, and this one for the Barracuda 7200.1112 LED repair. And we can also find some other common solutions like read is and busy zero capacity zero password remove reset smart we can see there are many seagate common failure solutions here so within both dfl seagate hd repair software and the dfl ddp data recovery equipment Users can find 
the detailed hard drive firmware repair solutions. After the firmware repair, users can get the MOS data directly within the DFL DDP here, data recovery program. File extraction, disk image. Now this is the partition. Then users can get to the files because this is one new drive. So there are no files here, just the system files. So repair the Seagate hard drive firmware failures first, and then users can get small state data within the DFO DDP data recovery software. It's very easy to switch between the Seagate hard drive repair program and the data recovery program. If users want to go back to this one, users can simply switch by clicking on the power icon. Now we can see, we can now operate on the Seagate firmware repair program. So it's very easy. Just Seagate repair and data recovery. Thank you for watching the video. And these are all the Seagate detailed functions of the D4